Hi guys, so I just had an order come in from Wood Paper Joy. I'm sorry if you can hear my um kitty in the background. He likes the study. I think he might come say hi. Anyway, yeah, there he goes. Hi, Lemon. Hi. Um, so I mentioned in an Instagram story in my previous order that I wasn't a big fan of her the color, the shade of her blonde hair. So, so she's put these in for me and I think they're so cute. This is pretty much how I look in the summer because the really pale hair has made this girl look like super tan. Um, so in the summer I like to put on some, you know, Bondi sands and then I have like really pale blonde hair. So I really like these. So thank you so much, Laura. And then this is her regular kit freebie. So I just picked up some more for her um, characters and um, she just put out another couple of kits so I'm gonna have to go back and purchase some more lemon sorry he's playing with stuff on my desk <laughs> um, so these are her chunky cat study and I love that she includes like variations of like you know um, late at night and like lots of stuff to do. I really like the variations of them. Um, and I included this in my giveaway so I had to pick it up again for myself. And then I got her Instagram uh, little kitties in both sizes. So I got um, mini and like regular because um, I want to start recording. So they'd be good to mark both Instagram posts and then I want to start recording in my sidebar like the number of followers I have each week so when I look back on my spreads I can see like progression so that's them and then I got this one again because I just think it's so cute it's a little like confused spaced out <laughs> eyes and then I got emotional kitty so these are like negative emotions so it's crying and cranky and then like that. Hi, Lemonade! Oh, that'll probably happen about a million times. <laughs> he likes um, playing with all the things on my desk. And then I got the coffee cat, and I really like how her kitty is like white, so it will we'll go with every single spread. So, and I would use this like even um oh so this is exhausted so it's not necessarily coffee but i'm often like really tired so and then i got that's maybe a bit misprinted but that's okay because i think it's just on the header anyway um like love heart cat so this would be like my positive emotion option Sorry, if you can hear my cat, he's like chewing on like this cardboard thing. Yes, Lemonade, I'm talking about you. <laughs> so then I picked up more of these laptops because I literally just can't go past laptop stickers. Um, I need to update. I'll give you a sneak peek actually. So I need to update um, the way that I'm storing my like icon stickers because it's starting to become oh, like a really big problem how like chunked out this folder is like <laughs> so like it's chunky it's like a fat as folder now so I think I need to separate maybe into two folders because it's coming a problem so that's them and then I picked up some more of these in like I think these are slightly different colorways but again more laptop girls so I think these are like um they're both called work it but I think like these are like bright colors and these are like pastels and then I picked up I th think this I'm not sure if I have this or not but I got another one um this is Flora doing groceries so that's all the like icon character type ones I got and then I picked up just one of our kits to try it out. And I think these might end up being the type of thing I use in my B6. Because it's 
she calls this her full kit, but it's only like four pages. So I would consider this mini kit size, but it's just, the art is so beautiful. Like I haven't seen anything like this. I'm not sure if she draws it herself or not, but like absolutely beautiful. So you've got here like, um, like a vertical planner, like a uh, spiral bound. And then you just got some really pretty florals. And the quote here says, you can't power from empty cup. Love that. And like a little tea box. And I'm not really usually a big fan of boxes that are just like patterns like this. But I've, oh my god, like I found these florals so pretty. And she's come out with some more kits that are just so beautiful like this. And I love as well how you can't see this girl's face. Like I know that's kind of weird, but sometimes I don't love having like faces in my spread. And I really love... It's one of my favorite art styles. I'm not sure if you guys will know what it is, but it's like, if it's like, like a, a drawing of a person and then they have like a light bulb or a fish bowl or flowers or something. Really, really adore that kind of art style so that you get nine full boxes. So I would probably be able to spread this um, over two weeks in my B6 um, and bring in some functionals or possibly use it in my um like memory planner but I would have to bring in a lot of stuff from my stash which you know I can do but I think this just vibe I would love in my B6. So there's your nine full boxes and then you have your bottom washi which is uh, split into two strips. So yeah see so you've got like a skinnier strip and a thicker strip and again like I don't know what it is about these florals I think it might be like the colors and then like these little bits oh, just love them and then these are like different size washi strips and then you've got a couple of half boxes and I really like um how her half boxes are like squared but then the inside is round I think that's a really um like happy medium between having squared and rounded boxes because I know like some people like the rounded boxes because they look a bit softer um in their spreads but I am a big fan of the squared boxes I think like first of all they're just easier for me to plan with because I can line like the sides up with the sides of the columns perfectly but then yeah I just love this and I love how it says oh hello weekend like I'm not a big user of weekend banners either but I think that's like the font is beautiful and how it says like oh hello I'm like love that so I'm really really like enjoying the style of this kit it's like I don't think it's this like the same as any other Australian planner shop not any ones I've bought from anyway like oh I love this font and I love the date covers and having marble in here really makes it um so you can definitely bring in like other functionals and see this is another thing that I would probably only use in my V6 is these to do today headers because like in memory planning why would I have a to do section but because it's going to be functional in my V6 I would definitely use the to do's and then you've got some more half boxes a quarter box and then her habit trackers are quite big um so I guess like you could put like I could put like a girl here and then like a study which is cute that's really cute to me like having these actually match really well but it's cute too and these um are more header size strips I think yeah and then this is like a big big old um washi strip like a half box size washi strip so I definitely would use that too but yeah that's really cute I could put like a character sticker and a strip Whereas like most other shops, their habit trackers are like a lot smaller, so you can only really put like a header size thing. So that's really cute. So that is the third page. And then on your fourth page, which is another reason I would um, use this in my B6, you get checklists. And then some more, um, this might be, I think these are quarter box size. So yeah, I would definitely have to bring in probably a lot of like quarter and half boxes, but it's like I literally can't say enough about this shop it is so so like stylish I would say and like just really really beautiful 
obsessed. Thank you so much, Laura. Like, I am <laughs> going to place another haul, like, right now. And I love these. Really pretty. So that is all I had from Wood Paper Joy, and she is on Etsy. Hi guys, so I'm back with another haul part. Um, this is from Stella Bro Sticker Co. So I've mostly just got some grab bags, but I'll go quickly through these. So these are some more of these um, like funky foil kits. So this one I think is called Glass Blue. And it's so pretty. It's like this blue green shift. So I really like this foil colour. So I'll be picking up like some more different bits and pieces in this colour so I can do a full spread. Um, if anybody knows of an Australian shop that does like Scribble Prints Co, I guess it's the best way to describe it. Like Scribble Prints Co style like wiggles or like bigger foil bundles in, in these funky colours, let me know because I'm in search of them. And then this is what she called her black foil and I'm not sure if I would call this foil because it's, it's not shiny so it would probably be de this one. It would be really cute if you could like foil at home and you can foil it yourself but I think I might instead pick up the colour she called like oil slick or something because I think that's like like a black hollow kind of style thing. Okay, so next I have some grab bags. Let's start with this one. So this one I think she called like her um, like foil kit grab bag. Um, and I bought this like preemptively to use in my B6, hopefully. So she said it would just be like random kit pages. So this is like the bottom washi date cover page in silver foil you can kind of see here i'm not sure if she said these were going to be oops or not maybe they were just overstock because this looks fine to me so that's really pretty i really like the the um florals and you can definitely tell oh that's kind of a little bit deep so maybe it is oops but you can tell this is an older format from her because she doesn't do these like full strip style date covers anymore um, she does like individual ones. So that's the first page and then I got this page which is half boxes and quarter boxes and some functional stuff so that'll be really useful. Then I got another one of these bottom washi pages so this is in gold foil like hot gold. That's really pretty too and it's got that's a really very very rich color in there. And you do get a few down the bottom. Oh, you can see here she's got her kit names on it. So that one was from Cabin Life. And this one was from Birthday. That's from Paris. All right. So this is also a page from Cabin Life. And it's foiled as well. The fact the flags are foiled. And then you've got some more like functional icons here and a movie marquee and some checklists. This one, wow, that's pretty. Oh, it's in hollow foil. Is that in gold foil as well? Yes, that was gold foiled. That's this one's from Beach Vacay. Oh, I love like the water pattern in there. And this one's from Beach Vacay as well, but this is not foiled. This page is from Boho, so this is glitter headers and they're gold foiled. And then you get some like word icons. Oh, and a full box page. This will come in handy because I use so many full boxes in like my A5 widespread. So I never have many left over. And you can see there's some cut washi there, but you could like stack it to make like a decorative half box. So this is from Traveller and it is in silver foil. Ooh, more hollow. Her hollow is really pretty. I don't have a lot of a hollow collection. I kind of use hollow and silver together. Maybe I should stop picking up more hollow because that's really pretty. Wow. And this is from the kit called Witch. It's another. Oh, so you can see here, this is a newer style day cover. They're like cut individually, not a full strip. So that's that page. 
And then the last page in this grab bag is from home. And it's some really pretty like photo kit washi, bottom washi, and it's in silver foil. So some of those were from like similar kits and some of them were from similar colour kits. Like this one called Beach Vacay was, is similar colours to that so that I could use them together. So that's really good, really good value I think. I'm not sure how much it was, maybe $15 or something. Very good value. So that's the first grab bag. And then next I picked up um, a flat lay grab bag. Now I can't remember, I think most of these are just like overstock and stuff she's discontinuing. Pretty sure they're not meant to be like oopsies. But if I see anything in particular, I'll let you all know of the oopses. Because I think these might still be up in a shop. Maybe not when you see this, but when I'm filming. So I got some cooking ones, some neutral study ones, some like gym ones. Well, this will be useful. This is like a film, plan with me filming. Um, some sticker organization, like more of a baking one. A different study one, or you could use this for work if this is the type of work you do at like a computer. Another planning one. A cleaning one, a like a pizza night one. This is like pinks and neutrals at the pool. Probably will not get any use out of these, but that's uh, gardening, happy birthday, uh, laundry. Wow, these are really big. These are like a study desk one. That would be bigger than a half box. That would pretty much fit in a full box. They might actually be cool in my memory planner to just mark off like pretty much a full day where I just study, where nothing <laughs> more interesting happens than just studying. This one is like, I think, like printing and cutting stickers, like a sticker shop one. This is like a Hobonichi plan with me. Another like math book study, um, like a sick day, and then like a cozy socks one. So that was really cool. There's actually a lot of ones that I will use in there, like quite a lot of study ones, which makes me think that not a lot of people buy her study stickers, which actually makes sense with the next grab bag. Because this, this grab bag was all... Um, study related like icons and words so I think I did have a quick flick through this so I think this is pretty much the whole range so there's ones with pencils and there's ones with books and there's ones with laptops and they're all just in the rainbow colorway so these again I'll probably use more in my B6 because I really like, um, so that's another Take Notes one. Oh yeah, they're the same. Are they? Maybe they're slightly different colorways. Maybe this one's pastel. I can't tell. Maybe they're slightly, I think they're the same. Um, I'll use it in my B6 because that's going to be really functional planning and I'll probably do film like pre-plan with me in my B6 just because like if I'm planning I might as well film it right so these are now into ones with books I don't really type my notes um, and I've got a few of these now so um, because I find personally that having like handwriting my notes makes me remind like remember them more but I'm sure I'll be able to pass them on to somebody all these other things I do so that'll be useful yeah so I'll be able to use these hopefully because <laughs> sticker planning makes me really happy it's um something I look forward to so if I'm planning hopefully I'm also doing so that'll hopefully be good as 
since I start this new semester. I will also say this semester is going to be weird because I've been at uni for almost three years now and like last semester was all online so that was different and this semester is going to be half and half so some things I'm going for and some things are online. I still have to take like zoom tutorials so I will say that was also a ton of sheets in that bag. These are definitely ones that she is discontinuing or has discontinued. Like I feel like that's stock that she couldn't get rid of. Because I would also say this is not the type of thing that I would probably buy outside a grab bag. Like I would have maybe bought the study ones but I would probably just buy the script and then put my own icon with it because um, I think this grab bag was really cheap and like look how many sheets you get in it yeah so they're probably not very popular those ones so I think these are more discontinued like doodle icons the little ones yes maybe so these are little passports I'm hoping, I was hoping to originally travel pretty much now or um, this year, but obviously that can't happen. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, touch wood, <laughs> that this time next year I'll be able to do a little bit of travel. So that would be fun to mark, like, um, when I book things for my trip and any flights and just pretty much anything travel related. No idea if I'll ever use these. They're little like ambulances. Then I've got some happy mail, some little ice drinks. If anybody knows where I can get like food stickers, I would be very grateful because um, I love marking in my planner when I get takeout and stuff. Now I think these ones might be oops because I don't think they're cut. But like I said in my other video, like if I get oopses and the oops is that they're not cut, if I really want to use the sticker, I'll just cut it out. It doesn't bother me too much. These are really cute. These will be cute to mark like when I do placements because I'm, I'm a teaching student so they'll be cute to mark like when I have placement at a school or any like teacher things that I have to do. That's really cute. Then I've got tea bags. Then we've got, I think these are little planners. Um, little like pigs. Piggy banks. The like oven stove top. Hair bows. Little paper clips think that's oh it's a planner stack I was like I thought it was like a bed <laughs> but it's a planner stack wow look at this so she's got in here a couple of sheets oh look there's another one that have still student planning branding on it I remember when like I first started planning like I was just out of high school this was the only shop that I bought from because I looked up like student stickers <laughs> and I bought like little little tiny ones like they're probably sheets like this big that said like exam and assignment and it was like four dollars plus shipping and I was like oh my god this is all my money but it's worth it I'm gonna be so productive so these are little Ugg boots and little blenders and last oh, planning. It's like almost nostalgic to me. I think and I don't know why she changed names because I dropped out of like planner things for a little while um, in like 2018, 2019, and so I missed like the name change. I just you know came back to planning this year and or like sticker planning this year. And was like, oh, where's student planning? And then, like, Stella Bow Sticker Co. was the thing. And, yeah. 
Then I've got noodles. Oh, that'll be good. I'll have to see if she's still got any of these food icons, like food doodles, because I need some food stickers. Got filming stickers, more. These ones are bow clips, and then some more happy mail. So again, like a ton, a ton, a ton of sheets. And I don't think they were expensive. I think they were cheap. And some of them I'll use, some of them I'll probably pass on, but uh, I love um, getting like grab bags because it's almost like opening a present, like it's your birthday because it's a surprise. And I love seeing like what you're going to get. So, and that's usually how, if I've never tried a shop before and I want to try them out, I usually buy a grab bag because it usually tells me like a little bit, it's like a sampler bag. It usually tells me a bit about like what their quality controls like and because I'm sure that a lot of stickers don't even make like oops, like they have to be thrown out. Or not a lot, but you know, some. So that's really what I like to do. So, ooh, we've got foil. Um, this might have been, I don't know if any of them are oops. I should have checked before filming, but this is another grab bag. And I think this is just random sheets. So we've got some scripts and we've got some kit sheets. So these are little birthday cakes. And then I've got a script on matte paper. It says pizza night. I will get, a, definitely use this whole sheet. Got some upload scripts on matte as well, which will be useful for me as well. Then we've got a grocery list. Probably will be passing this one on. Then we've got replies. I'm not sure like in what context I would use this. So I'll probably be passing that on as well. And then we have a four week spread in rose gold. Again, maybe these were like customs or something because I don't think I've ever seen that in a shop and I'm not sure how I would use it. So then we have, um, actually this might just be like a mini kit. Oh no, no maybe not. No, okay. But I think this is like her like baby kit, um, like full box page. Not sure if it's like a mini kit. I think it's probably a mini kit because she's a mini kit and a weekly kit than a full kit. Pretty sure that's how she like scales them. And I think this is a, a, an older format because of these boxes. So this is page two of like a Christmassy one. And then I think she's been nice and like has tried to make them like pages that go together. Cause this is a different kit. Like this is WK and this is MK. So they're different kits, but the colors are still really similar. So that's, you know, your boxes page. And then this is um, like a functionals page. This is from the WK kit as well. And then this is from the MK kit and you've got, see, I'm not, none of the kits that I've bought from her have had this format. So I don't know if this is an old format or if this is just her mini kit and I've never bought a mini kit. Which is possible because if I'm right and this is the mini kit full boxes page, that's only seven full boxes and I need like nine full boxes. <laughs> but it will be useful in my B6 to have a kit this size. So maybe that's a good thing to think about. I can use her mini kits in my B6. And then this is a bottom washi and see there's more date colors and one set of headers and some habit trackers in there. And then I think this is a um, Leanne Baker daily page. So I have no idea how I'm going to use that. Alrighty, so that is all I have from Celebro Sticker Co. So many grab bags. <laughs> so many stickers to put away. And she is on her website. Alright guys, I've just got some more hauling to do. I've got the GP Studio July Mystery Kit. I will just um, start off by saying I have cancelled my subscription. 
I only got... So originally I was subscribed to the Hobinichi format. I think I just start subscribed in either January or February. And then I changed to the Ultimate Standard Vertical Size Mystery Kit. And I've gotten maybe three of them. Um, and I only cancelled because it's, they're just not really my style. And I had a better look at what is on her website. And like the icons are beautiful and I would definitely use the icons. But none of her like kit is really my style. And the format's a little bit too big for, for me to do like one week concisely or even with a reasonable amount of leftovers but is not enough for me to do two weeks so I'm looking at subscribing to the Planet Beautiful Mystery because I do like getting these kits and especially because um, I'm going back on my no spend I, I still like to get a little bit of happy now so I'll just be going I'll probably be desatching this one because again like, I do love this vinyl, but then I don't use vinyls. And then the kits, like, the full boxes in the kit aren't really my style. So I'll probably be de-stashing this at some point. But you do get a lot in, in, the, in the mystery kit. I think it's 30 maybe Australian dollars, maybe a little bit less a month. And you do get a really, you get a very, very... Um, big full kit it's bigger than her regular kits in the shop and then you get some extras as well so this is a vinyl sticker and then she does these now which are on clear and I never know how to use these so I think these ones are header sized and then you get some other like it's on clear paper but they're like transparent and I just I don't know how to use them and then there's some circle foiled bow icons. I will say that she does guarantee at least one foiled sheet in the Ultimate Kit. And if you get the Hobonichi Weeks Kit, I'm not sure if there's different sizes in that, but the one that I got always had some kind of foil in it. And then you get, oh, this is on vinyl as well, I think. In a previous kit I had this was on matte but anyway this is on her vinyl paper as well and my only issue with vinyl paper and Planet Beautiful has vinyl paper as well is it's fine for me to use for like icons but once you get into like vinyl boxes you have to use a permanent marker on them so that's in vinyl as well and then this is her kit so she doesn't put her four boxes at the front for some reason, but it is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight pages, so it is a full kit. Um, so on this page you get white space checklists, one Monday to Sunday box, some like rounded quarter boxes, two habit trackers, some of these squared boxes, some other like layering pieces, some word headers and some circle icons and this is another thing that I personally it's just like a complete personal preference I don't like word headers for like the main part of my like vertical spreads because they're memory planners right so it doesn't make sense for me to have a to-do list in my memory planner when I get my B6 inserts, that might change. And my plan at the moment for my B6 is to use them functionally and to use kit leftovers in them. So I'll see how that goes. So, but on this page, you've got um, full set of headers, one glitter, two word, some more functional boxes, two build Jews, a ton of functional deco and two weekend banners. And then this page, you've got your nine full boxes. I will say, originally when I opened this kit, I really, really loved these full boxes. I love the colors. I love this girl. Um, but I have so many kits now that it would probably 
just get like pushed to the back especially because I'm not the biggest fan of this format it probably would just get bumped continuously and I wouldn't use it so um, and then these down the bottom are like header size washi strips so you don't have to use the word headers but I think there's only because there's only three here so you would only get three of these plain ones of each color and then this is a double box and it is like split down the middle so it's not really it's like a it's like a double toolbox and I wouldn't really say that you could use or maybe you can on this one just use half um, in like your side by or something or I've seen these used really well if like on a Monday so like half is in the sidebar and half is like the bottom of Monday and the bottom washi that's really cute and it is the same size as two like the same height as two full boxes um, and then you get patterned header size washi strips and a whole bunch of functional scripts and then you get on this page your bottom washi and you get more, these are different size washi strips. I'm not sure if you can see there. They're like all cut different sizes. I do. I will say I do like this piece to go into your side bar of the bottom washi. And I don't know a lot of stores that do that. And then this is a full page of half boxes and some more like quarter boxes, squared off ones. And then just a few little things down the bottom. And then on this page you get like some little things size boxes and then you get eight um, full box checklists and another Monday through Sunday box and finally you get some more deco and then date numbers and two sets of date covers so theoretically if you had like a smaller planner say you had a B6 so the B6 I'm getting is like Monday through Friday is full size and then Saturday and Sunday like share a column. So I would use probably five full boxes if that a week. So you have nine full boxes plus the double box in this kit. So you could stretch it for two weeks. If I was stretching this for two weeks, maybe it would be worth it. I'm not sure. The quality of a stick is a beautiful and like... A lot of the art is really, really, like, objectively beautiful to me, but it's just not my style. So I have cancelled that subscription, but this is a beautiful kit. Um, so that is all I have from the GP Studio on her website. Alrighty, so I have another haul part. This is from... Let me get her name right. Um... Aussie Planner Chick, and she is on Etsy. So I have some B6 TNX uh, inserts, and then I also have some A5 wide um, memory planner inserts. So this is her freebie. I This is from like maybe, this is two orders. So I do have another one of these floating around. So I think it's really interesting though that like she can obviously make stickers, but she doesn't sell them in her shop. Um, so this freebie is just like an Oz, so you've got like this box that's probably a bit, um, maybe a half box size, and it's got ordered, shipped, received, Aussie Planner Chick, and then you've got three quarter boxes, a sticker that says hashtag Aussie Planner Chick, and then a coffee o'clock. So I do have another one of these floating around, but so first of all, I picked up some A5 wide inserts because I do have or a Stell ones on the way, but they only just shipped with my um, cloud and they're coming from America and so they probably be a little while before they get here and they're undated so um, I just picked these up this is obviously not all of them because I already put them in my um, Kiki K A5 rings but um, this is what like the style is so I think I got like August I got three months worth so it's like August till what um, the end of October, is that right? August, September, October, yep. Um, so I have already put down a spread in these and I will tell you that 
the height of these boxes are perfect and the height of the headers are perfect. So in my previous inserts, the printables that I had, I had to kind of plan from the bottom up because things weren't like perfectly aligned, but this is 100% perfect. And then the width of the um, sidebar is beautiful and the lines are like really thin and quite like a pale. Um, I'm not sure if they're, I think I'd call them black, but they're really um, fine. So no whiting out, which is great. And then I will say though that there's no room. I know some planners like to put deco up the top. There's not room to do that, but that doesn't really bother me because that's not my style. And I will also say the, that um, the bottom washi is going to be a little bit too long. But the way I like to do it um, is I just line it up with this side and then it just goes a little bit extra on this side. Um, you can always like cut it and I have tried doing that in the past but honestly once the spread is all down and finished it doesn't bother me that there's a little bit of extra washi like on the inside. So that is that one and then okay so I am making a proper video about like a planner update but I have here three B6TN inserts I will not be using all of these, I'll probably only be using the week on four pages. Um, originally I thought I would like either this guy here or this guy here. Um, and I think in her shop this by default has like lines um, in the boxes but I just asked her to take them out. She's really good with customising them. So um, this is what her inserts look like. So they're B6 size and then you get like this like cover page and then a blank page and then it starts. Um, so yeah, this is an option. So this is probably the most common one I see where it's like Monday to Friday and then Saturday and Sunday are small. And I think I had somebody say that like the way they do it is they just put a full box on Monday to Friday and then not on the weekend and it gives them like a similar amount of space so that's that one um I think I might hoard these for a little bit before I de-stash them because I'm also looking for um a way to budget plan so I might end up using one of these for that but this is another way so this way all the boxes are shorter and you get a sidebar but you get Monday to Friday on top then Saturday Sunday and then a big like general this week box so I thought I might like that but I don't know this is another option if I find myself if I go through one of these week on four pages and I'm finding that I'm not filling up the whole column I might switch to this one as like a bit of a more affordable option because obviously like I'm pretty sure these oh maybe this is thicker but like I imagine that like per week this one would be cheaper because you're only getting like one like a week on two pages rather than using your next two pages for a week on four. So that's that one. And then I also have this guy here, which this is what I'm going to be using for study planning. So I did, um, I think you'll probably see that video before this. I've got a video on my channel called like study planner um because this for me right now it's the seventh sixth it's the first week of august the monday it's the week that started the third of august so it's the first week of university for semester two for me so i need to be really on top because they've shortened this semester i'm pretty sure so we don't get a study week swap back, we don't get that, and I'm pretty sure the semester is only 12 weeks. So I need to be really, really on top of all my study. Um, so this is what this looks like. So you've got um, like almost two sidebars. So you have like a, a sidebar at the start of the week, and then you have Monday to Friday on like the first two pages. And then you have Saturday, Sunday, and then like a second sidebar. And I asked this originally, I think um, like default in her shop, it comes with lines, but I just asked her to make it a dot grid. Um, I'm very comfortable with using a dot grid. That's what my study planner has been for a long time. So um, I find it 
that this is the easiest for me to use as like a flexible space so I might end up using this for like lists or notes or like this has next week but I might have um, I'll probably end up splitting it into two columns and I'll have like lectures and I'll have like my Monday to Friday lectures I'll also have my lectures though like scheduled out so the way I like to do it is like know when they're scheduled um, and then if I have to like if I can't make the lecture then um, I have a checkbox here to like tick so it'll have like all my lectures in it I'm explaining this terribly but I'll have like all my lectures listed from Monday to Friday and then if I like watch it on the zoom because I'm pretty sure all my lectures are zoom yeah all my lectures are zoom this semester so if I watch it on the zoom I will take it off right away or if I can't make the scheduled time when I go back to watch the recording I'll take it off then and it just like it's almost redundant because I've got it here and I've got it there but it for me it means that I'm aware of what I have and haven't what content I have and haven't watched and then this side might be like deadlines and then maybe a running to do yeah and then I'll probably use these um, like as they're written so like a next week and important and then whatever so that is going to be my study planner I'm gonna get this I'll take with me on campus so I'm going to get like um, some contact some like book contacts that like you use for your books when you were like a little kid and cover it in contact so it's like a little bit protected because I'm not really sure if I'm gonna like this or not so I don't want to invest in like a proper TN cover and I only have the one insert to use um, I have purchased a printable monthly that I will be using alongside this but I'll probably just cover that in contact as well alrighty so that is what I have ordered from Ollie Planner Chick and she is from Etsy. Hi guys, I've got another haul bit. Um, this one is from a D stash. So firstly I've got this sheet. Um, I'm picking up just random bits um, because in my B6 I'm planning to use just use like kit leftovers so um, it's from Bare Necessities Sticker Co. I've never heard of that shop before but that's that one and then I think she included these like as freebies or extras to me they look like they're from like the Scribble Prince Co like overstock random um, page pull kind of d stash kind of thing so just got a few pages here. I'll probably or hopefully be able to use them on my B6. Then I picked up a bunch of like foil items. She was selling like scribble prints wiggles, but she was selling them as individual pages, so I just picked up what I could. So this is the icon sheet in silver. Then I have the bow, uh, sorry, not bow, just regular overlay corners, and um, this icon sheet with like some little deco pieces and a weekend banner in like a green sparkly one. I do have a green, uh, it's a Stella Bow Sticker Co. green glass color, which I think this might go well with, and I have a couple of sheets. Of this blue one so I've got the food doodle sheet I've got that same icon sheet and then I've managed to get three of these sheets so that you've got on each sheet you've got seven header overlays 14 half cut headers and two full box overlays so you could probably almost I could probably almost get a like a full spread with these bits um, and then I got this like almost matte peachy color so I've got this icon sheet here with the flags and deco pieces and I've got the circle icons with the date numbers and I've got the corner overlays 
and I've got these are all header overlays and one page of full box overlays. Then I've got some of these like sparkly purple. So I've got two of these full box ones and these headers. And then I've got all the three different kinds of like icons, but the circle ones and then the, oh, so these two are the same. And the circle icons with the date numbers. Then I have two lots of the corners. So I could definitely, other than the bottom washi overlays, which I don't always use, I could definitely get like a full foil out of that. And it is like, it's probably best to show you on the circle icons. It's like sparkly purple, dark purple, pink, sparkly. And then I have, I think she called this Lavender Hollow, and this was a freebie. No, I think she, this was something I bought as well um, from Rose, Rose Coloured Days, and it's a similar coloured foil. So I've got three of these pages with the headers, the half cat headers, and the full box overlays, and then these icons. Uh, and then I picked up, oh, so that must have just been regular lilac. And then this was the lilac hollow, which I only managed to get um, the solid icons. That's really crazy. I might end up using, like, throwing this in with my, um, like, silver hollow um, collection because I don't have a lot of silver hollow either. So I got these um, Regina Laughs headers. And I've got Toffee Bananas planners. Then these are from Rose Shadow Collection, which I haven't heard of. And they're like layering pieces. So these are cut out in circles, these bows. And then you've got some hexagons and it's foiled in gold. Then I have Simply Watercolor Co. Header overlays. Yeah, they are clear. Silver scalloped header overlays got tickle pink planning um, like little pillows I have new releases from paper and milk these travel go ones from Van sticky then I also got this is the same as the other one um, from rose colored days they're full box overlays um, so then I got these laying icons as well from rose colored days they're in gold then I've got these from Simply Watercolor Co. So they're just like little deco pieces. Then I've got some foiled headers, um, solid headers from Scribble Prints Co. So I've got these ones in silver, these ones in gold, these ones, and this is her rose gold, and I think. I was trying to decide whether I should mix this in with like the standard rose gold that I use. I think I will um, because like in person, I know like from her new release videos, it can look very, very pinky, but in person, it's just on like the pinkier side of rose gold. So I think I can handle mixing this in with like normal rose gold. And then I have these ones in silver. Um, next I've got some bits from Station Stickers, so this is foiled in green, and it's like a travel theme sampler, then um, like a doctor's one foiled in rose gold, then I've got a like um, school one foiled in gold, I'll be able to use them quite easily, and I've got a male one foiled in purple. And then lastly I've got some more foil goodies from Simply Beautiful Plans. So this is like, just I guess, a, oh there we go, work icons foiled in gold. I've got a misc, so this is a $50 plus sampler in silver. And then I have a home icons in silver. I also did pick up one kit from Sticky Essentials. And I really, really liked this format. Um, so I did look on her website, but there's nothing that she has up at the moment that I liked enough to buy. Um, this is, I think, an American or possibly Canadian shop. 
Um, and she does seem to have very limited kits available at a time. So definitely I would recommend if you see something from her that you like going and picking it up immediately. Like this paper's, it's on the thicker side, but it is like a very nice matte paper. So this is the Cyber Monday Mystery and I think it is the full kit. So I'm not sure what's add-ons and what's not, but this is a 15 millimeter strip and a Fashion Girls. And then this is your full boxes here. So it's like a stay at home planner productivity style one. I'll probably use it um, like during uni semester, maybe during exams or like when it starts to, um, there's always like a point in semester where I start having to knuckle down. So I might use it for that. And then you've got, um, I think these might be half boxes or third boxes, some rounded quarter boxes, a few little things, a few word headers and a couple of three heart checklists. You've got glitter headers in the kit and it's a really pretty, like really fine glitter. And then you've got like eight boxes, like little things size and then quarter boxes and half boxes. And then you've got one Monday through Sunday box, one ombre heart, and then you've got two uh, habit trackers, a movie monkey, some more boxes, some deco and some flags. Then you've got uh, six work labels, some more, these ones are patterned half boxes, a bunch of circle icons, a weekend banner and white space checklists. And then you've got bottom washi date covers and an extra full box. <clears throat> so she's also got here, on here little marks to like where you would cut your washi if you wanted to use your 15 millimeter strip um and i think i will be able to get like a full week's kit and a um b6 spread out of this because you've got eight nine ten different options and i would be able to use like i would use one girl with this spread and one girl with the other spread because you do get four um, and I think I want to start marking in my sidebar, my memory planner, like more things. So I'd be using one less full box, so I don't use eight full boxes. So that's really good. So that is all I have from this D stash.